Good afternoon, I'm Shane Chernoff with your WUFT-TV news update. The $62 million expansion project of North Florida Regional Medical Center is now complete. The project added a four-story tower with 92 patient beds and will be open for patients starting July 1st. Also included in the tower is a heart and vascular center, a neonatal ICU, and a neuroscience care center. The Marion County Sheriff's Office is working to find a credit card fraud suspect. The victim, who lives in Illinois, says someone had been using his credit card in Marion County in May, and detectives found that the credit card was used at a Walmart in Ocala. Security video from the store shows the suspect is a bald man with a slim build who is wearing a bright colored t-shirt and jeans. Actor James Gandolfini, most famous for playing Tony Soprano on the HBO drama The Sopranos, is dead. The Emmy Award winning actor died yesterday while traveling in Rome on vacation. He was 51 years old. A heart attack is suspected. After being in Europe for the past three days, President Barack Obama is now back in the United States. After delivering a speech in Berlin, Germany yesterday, today Obama is meeting privately with Democrats on an immigration plan. The Congressional Budget Office estimates the plan would cost $40 billion over the next 20 years and would cut illegal immigration by 25 percent. Republicans are not expected to accept the proposal. China held its first classroom lecture from space today. Astronaut Wang Yaping took questions live from 330 elementary and middle school students. She spoke from the Tiangong-1 prototype space station. Wang illustrated basic principles of weightlessness and took questions about living, working, and staying fit aboard the orbiting space station. Have a good afternoon.